Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday here, 09 October. Pretty quiet overnight. Um, got a little bit of European data going on. Stocks are still weak. Uh, but we got this, uh, we got some CPI news here out of Europe. French CPI. And then we've got some inflation stuff and employment stuff out of UK. CW today. Um, this is all. Uh, actually, no. I take that all back. I'm on the wrong. Totally on the wrong day. What do we got here? Not much this morning. In fact, we got nothing out this morning um, of interest. We've got uh, nothing out this afternoon. We've got oil inventories, which is pretty useless. Pretty quiet day on the release side. Let's take a look at these charts um, and talk about the stories behind them. This obviously uh, is the chart that's on our frontal lobe. This euro trend line now comes in at 110.03, matches all of those crazy highs. Pretty good turn day on um, Tuesday, yesterday. We couldn't quite get through 110. Not sure what to do with this. Um, I still like it to bust through this trend line eventually this week. Um, so we're just patiently waiting, uh, looking for maybe a piece of news to drive it uh, or just technical factors we'll have to see so we're just patiently waiting and watching this this line um, if you want to be exact about it it is going to be actually 110 16 today so we shall see with euro dollar waiting and watching that line equities got plundered yesterday we talked about it a little bit we were like okay have your hand on the trigger when the trade news comes out. Try and hit a bid. Like most of you, uh, I missed the first 10 handles between 43 and 33. I obviously sat between 33 and 37 for an hour, so you had plenty of time to um, tactically get short. Through 28 was the waterfall. Um, and now here we are, 28.98. Uh, not a lot to say here. Lots of... Uh, headline risk still news could come out at any time that they've come to some sort of minor agreement as well as they could just march out of there and, and say this thing is fucked we're not doing this um, both of those scenarios are going to be worth 30 to 40 handles um, obviously positive news takes us back to 29.50 I don't think we're going to get above 29.90 so I think you know I'm, I'm here on the camp that you know left hand side is the weak side I don't know what's going to finally break through this obviously the uh, 200 day is at 28.40 um, that will be kind of the nail in the coffin but until then uh, we're selling high ones and we're trying to be tactically short so right now we're square again looking to get tactically short again today on a headline or else we will not actually fade this at 29.50 we'll fade it only at 29.90 today which is definitely not going to happen so um, let's see what what happens there Boone's back higher and this little sideways uh, sort of congestion area still core short boons um, not much to say here pretty bullish day yesterday uh, we actually did nibble um, at 02 on one of our shorts on one of our short positions uh, so we do have some ammo to resell um, but we won't be doing any reselling until we see 175, um, sort of 20 to 50, uh, but still core short uh, boons. The rest of FX uh, is a bit of a mess. I don't know why dollar yen is here. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, 
in the middle of nowhere though, so there's not much to do, right? 107.20, not much to do here. The games begin at 108.50 and 106.50. Of course, short looks to be the way, but that now also looks quite dangerous. It's almost too obvious to be core short here with stocks getting crushed and bad news hanging around. So just leave dollar yen alone, I would I suggest. Um, same thing with dollar Swiss. Should be lower. It's not lower, so just leave it alone. Dollar CAD. A few of the um, institutional bank guys were talking about going short yesterday. Um, I don't mind this trade. I do like uh, core short dollar CAD, but I also like selling high ones. So, you know, I don't think 133.80 is going to break. I do think we might get through 133.50. So you just want to be patient, core short dollar CAD, in sort of a patient, patient way. Gold, nothing to do here. We talked about this big pennant, um, nothing to do. Bitcoin, 8,000. We're buyers of Bitcoin at 6,000, so nothing to do here. Patiently waiting for 6,000 for Bitcoin. Um, not a whole lot else to say really uh, we're just basically really focused like a laser on this euro dollar trend line trading stocks from the short side uh, and then we have our core short fixed income so pretty standard setup looks like it could be a very very quiet day unless we get news out of China so don't get out in front of your skis on what's going to be a very very quiet day be patient out there, people, and if you have the opportunity to make a little bit of a dough, a little bit of dough, go for it. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you all tomorrow.